In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on September 11, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Las Vegas Raiders vs. Los Angeles Chargers The Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers meet Sunday in NFL action from SOFI Stadium. The Raiders are fresh off a 10-7 overall campaign last year, finishing in second place in the AFC West and snagging a wild card berth. As for the Chargers, they went 9-8 overall last year, landing in third place in the division and failing to make the playoffs. Las Vegas had a pretty turbulent year in 2021, seeing head coach John Gruden's dismissal along the way. The good news is that the Raiders finished 10-7 and bagged a wild card spot. Las Vegas season would come to an end in that wild card game versus the Bengals 26-19. The Raiders started things out well in 2022 and managed a perfect preseason campaign. Las Vegas kicked things off with a 27-11 win over the Jaguars, then took out the Vikings 26-20 in Week 2. In the final game versus the Dolphins, Las Vegas took a 15-13 victory. Over on the Chargers' side, they had quite the choppy season themselves but were on the cusp of a playoff berth until the Week 18 loss to the Raiders. Los Angeles would improve on their 7-9 2020 campaign with a 9-8 mark but also missed the postseason for the third straight year. The Chargers' preseason was a bit choppy to say the least. Los Angeles kicked things off with a 29-22 loss to the Rams. Game 2 was a 32-18 defeat at the hands of the Cowboys. On August 26th in Game 3 versus the Saints, the Chargers fell again 27-10 in a rough outcome. The Raiders are 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 in Week 1 and 5-2 against the spread in their last 7 in September. The under is 4-1 in Las Vegas' last 5 overall. All. Meanwhile, the Chargers are 7-1-2 to to two against the spread in their last 10 in Week 1 and 5-2 to two against the spread in their last 7 in September. Los Angeles is 20-41-1 to to one against the spread in the last 62 at home. The Raiders and Chargers know each other very well, clashing in the first game of what should be a hotly contested AFC West this season. Each club has bolstered its roster in significant ways. The Raiders hired Dave Ziegler as general manager, Josh McDaniels as head coach, and have 24 new players on the roster, including all-pro wide receiver Devontae Adams. The Chargers acquired linebacker Kyle Mack and signed cornerback J.C. Jackson who is listed as questionable but expected to play. Vegas knocked out the Chargers with a field goal as time expired in Week 18, catapulting them to the final playoff spot. These games are always close, with the average margin of victory less than 5 points over their last 10 meetings. This should be a great matchup, and depending on how things shake out in the division it could also have playoff implications as well. This series has been even head-to-head -head over the past four seasons, with each team bagging four victories. It'll also be a chance for each team to showcase their new tour Boys. Los Angeles has Kyle Mack and Mike Williams in the mix, and the Raiders are hoping Devontae Adams will provide a boost to their passing attack. I'm thinking this will be Adams' coming out party and he'll post some solid numbers in a pretty tight game. The Raiders and Chargers know each other very well, so we could easily see a dramatic battle down the stretch. Both teams own plenty of weapons on the offensive end and a lot of problems on the defensive side of things. Should be a fun one. I expect both clubs will keep it close and stay within a field goal, so the Las Vegas Raiders to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert has set records for most yards passing and touchdowns by a player in his first two seasons. His 9,350 yards passing and 69 touchdown passes are both the most by a player in his first two years, and he gets most of his offensive pieces back after they scored 27.9 points per game last year fifth most in the league. Dalvin Adams immediately makes the Raiders an elite club on O, and although they only scored 22 points per game last year, expect that number to dramatically rise. Los Angeles was fourth in the NFL last year in yards per game with the Raiders not far behind with 364.9. With the improvements both teams made, I expect those units to be even better. The bookies are looking for a high-scoring affair, and the line is a tricky one at 52 points. Three of the last four meetings between the Raiders and Chargers have 
produced more than 52 points in total, and the over is 4 to 2 in their previous six encounters, so I would ride these betting trends. Furthermore, the total has gone over in the Chargers' last six showings. The over is 6 minus 1 in their previous seven games at SOFI Stadium, and it is 8 to 4 in the Raiders' last 12 showings as underdogs of three or fewer points. Look for this to be a high scoring, high drama affair with both clubs eclipsing the 30 point mark. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Tampa Bay Buccaneers vs. Dallas Cowboys The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Dallas Cowboys kick off the season in prime time with both teams eyeing the Super Bowl this year. The Buccaneers won Super Bowl 55, but last season despite a 13-4 regular season record, they fell short in the divisional round and hoped to rebound this season behind a talented roster. The Cowboys meanwhile went 12-5 last year but tripped up in the wild card and hoped to reach the Super Bowl for the first time since the 1995-1996 season. Both teams enter the season with talented rosters and the upcoming game should be a great one to highlight the first week of football. Tampa Bay had another strong campaign in 2021, going 13-4 overall, a franchise record for victories in a single season. The Buccaneers captured the NFC South Division for the first time since 2007 then won the wild card playoffs versus the Eagles. Tampa's season ended with a 30-27 loss to the Rams in the divisional playoffs. However, this preseason, the Buccaneers posted a 0-3 record and had trouble finding the end zone. Tampa Bay lost to the Dolphins 26-24 in Week 1, then 13-3 to the Titans in the second game. The final exhibition outing was a 27-10 loss to the Colts on August 27. Over on the Cowboys' side, they made quite the turnaround from their ugly 6-10 record in 2020. 20. Dallas rolled to a 12-5 overall mark in a division title. The Cowboys' postseason dreams evaporated quickly with a 23-17 loss to the 49ers in the wildcard playoffs. Dallas started off the 2022 preseason with a fairly tepid 17-7 loss to the Broncos, but the team finished strong. Game 2 was a 32-18 win over the Chargers, then the Cowboys bagged a 27-26 win over the Seahawks in the final exhibition outing. The Buccaneers are 5-2 against the spread in the last seven versus versus the NFC and 7-3 against the spread in the last 10 overall. Tampa Bay is 2-6 against the spread in the last 8 in Week 1. Meanwhile, the Cowboys are 5-1 against the spread in the last 6 as an underdog and 16-6 against the spread in the last 22 overall. Dallas is 13-3 against the spread in the last 16 versus the NFC. The Buccaneers are an intriguing team to win this game and cover the spread on the road. However, despite the question marks for the Cowboys, they look to step up in what looks to be an exciting and close game and find favorable matchups on both sides of the ball. The Cowboys look to find the end zone throughout the game particularly with Dak Prescott finding open receivers downfield and one-on-one -on -one coverage whether it's C.D. Lamb or Michael Gallup gashing the Buccaneers cornerback on deep roads. The Cowboys also look to limit the Buccaneers offense with plenty of interior pressure against the Buccaneers guards and backup center with Micah Parsons rushing up the middle while Demarcus Lawrence gets to Brady on the edge, throwing him off rhythm for enough drives throughout the game. It should be a great Sunday evening matchup and a possible playoff preview if all goes as expected for these squads this season. In any case, Dallas lost quite a bit of talent in the offseason, so this will be a good barometer on where they stand, even if it is just the first outing. On paper, the Cowboys have a pretty tough schedule though their first six games, four against playoff teams from last season. If Dallas can get through that gauntlet at .500 or better, they'll be in great shape. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Buccaneers should find the end zone at will with Tom Brady both getting the ball out quickly to help with the pass protection and Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and the rest of the receivers open down in short yardage routes and on deep throws down the field, especially against the Cowboys cornerbacks when they end up in one-on-one -on -one coverage. The Cowboys meanwhile should run up the score with Dak Prescott finding CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup, and the rest of the receivers open down the field but also with the run game moving the chains and gashing the Buccaneers defense for big plays as Ezekiel Elliott. And Tony Pollard find plenty of open grass behind big blocks from Zach Martin in the trenches. Brady no longer has a B or Gronk after last season, and he could be without Godwin on Sunday. On the other side, Dak no longer has Amory Cooper. However, even with a drop off, these were the top two teams in total offense, passing offense, and in scoring last season. Expect to see both teams go to the air early and often, and Dak and Brady are both capable of making plays, regardless of who they are throwing to. And it's still like there's still no firepower 
firepower as Mike Evans of the Bucks and C.D. Lamb of the Cowboys are two big-time receivers. This is a high total, but with both teams being carried by their offenses last season, expect this game to be a shootout led by Tom Brady and Dak Prescott. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.